Hey everybody, welcome back to Vegan Cheesesteak Tour of Philadelphia. I'm super excited for today's episode because we are at Tattooed Moms. So you've heard me talk about Tattooed Moms plenty of times because it's one of my favorite places in the city. It is a crucial space in the punk scene, but they also host the Meatless Monday. So this Meatless Monday has been around since I moved to the city. It has a, a pretty comprehensive menu that they update constantly. But one of the staples is the cheesesteak. It's so good, they've updated the recipe over the years and it has competed in the Vegan Cheesesteak Tournament of Philadelphia. Yeah! Tattoo Moms is a bar scene, but you can come at all ages hours. Today, Tattoo Moms has been nice enough to host us for the episode, so join us. We'll explore the menu, we'll eat the cheesesteak, and we'll have so much fun uh, Tattoo Moms on South Street in Philadelphia. <laughs> Though the downstairs of Tattooed Moms does have a casual dining area, which is where you'll usually find me eating cheesesteaks and pierogies, the upstairs hosts a cultural explosion of street art, graffiti, installation art, and what I can only describe as visual poetry from local and traveling artists alike. While upstairs, you can get comfortable on the curated vintage furniture while you visit for a variety of indie comedy shows, movie screenings, flea markets, and art shows. And if you're traveling in, make sure you leave one of your stickers on the wall. I've been known to do that from time to time. Luckily, I was able to run into Robert, the owner of Tattooed Moms, while we were there for an impromptu interview, but I do apologize for the audio. Okay, so we were downstairs where it was like kind of loud. We were going over the menu, but now we are upstairs. They've invited us upstairs kind of like <laughs> with just us and our food. So this is the cheesesteak. It just, it looks so beautiful. You can see that it has like the steak, it has onions in it and cheese and it's so good. Sometimes I'll get it with vegan mayonnaise too. They have that. I mean, I've ordered this same sandwich for like the last six years and it has evolved a little bit and I think it's it's a really great formula for a vegan cheesesteak. And we got tots, so I'm gonna try this out. So there's always like a variety of condiments if you eat your cheesesteak with ketchup or a sriracha. Sometimes I'll dip mine in sriracha, which is like a little rare for me. Kind of a baby, but oh my god, this bread is so good. It's so good! And you can see the like steak pieces here are like just kind of feel so alive. <laughs> it's so good. It definitely just tastes like it's made like on the grill, like the traditional like chopping cheesesteak Philly style. It's 
It's so good, it's so warm, and so cheesy. It tastes like the real thing. It tastes like, I don't know if it tastes like the real thing, but it tastes like such a good comfort food. I love it, I love coming here. Didn't you order one of these like last week? Yeah, last Monday. Did you order it for Meatless Monday or you just wanted, like this is what you looked over the menu and wanted? It was Meatless Monday. So Meatless Monday is half price on their veggie menu. It's every single Monday. And they said they've been hosting it for the last five years. So what did you order? The, what was it, pickle fried chicken sandwich? Vegan? Yeah. Is that the Beyond Burger? Yes. How do you guys dress it up? Standard? So, yeah, it's like lettuce, tomato, pickles, and then a uh, Beyond Mom's. Slightly big macky, slightly whopperish. We love the whopper. Do you want this one cut in half? Yeah. Okay. We can do it. Okay. Cool. Thank you. So we're we're just exploring the meatless Monday menu, and this is the Tattooed Mom's Beyond Burger. And this is kind of an in-house sauce recipe that's kind of like. Big Mac-ish, kind of a secret sauce, so I'm really excited to try this. So we had it split in half so we could eat it, but I've I've had an Impossible Burger from White Castle, but I haven't really played around with the Beyond Burger, which is supposed to be like, um, they were telling us they like even sell it in like the meat section in supermarkets. It's supposed to be like a very like plant-based alternative to eating actual meat, so it looks really big. All right, um. It tastes just like barbecue burgers, like out on the grill. You should try yours, I really like it. These like, these like super meats though always trip me up. So you have to, I think this is great if you're bringing like your buds here and they might be less inclined to eat the vegan cheesesteak, definitely be like, we'll get this. Cause I feel like even the texture and the color is very similar. But you even said that your chicken sandwich was like unbelievable or like hard to believe it wasn't. Yeah, it could trick someone easily, especially if they're drunk. <laughs> like a wink. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished eating at Tattooed Mom's and although I love the cheese sink, we also got a proper sampling of what the Meatless Monday menu really has to offer. So this menu is available all the time and you can come here on Mondays and just experience it half price or you can come here whenever with your friends. The cheese sink is so good. I definitely recommend getting it with veganaise or with regular mayonnaise if you want to get that like true Philly vegan cheesesteak experience. There's also a bomb cocktail menu, a great happy hour, and it's always a great place to hang out. On Sunday they do arts and crafts and all of that is free and every table has trinkets and lollipops and I just can't get enough of this place. I just, I don't know. It's a great, great hub for local artists. It's a great collection of street art from traveling artists and graffiti and it's almost sensory overload in there. I can't I can't say enough about how great it is. So if you're on South Street, you can take in all the sights and all the feels around here and come into Tattooed Moms for a chill spot, an amazing cheesesteak and just 
all the comforting vibes. I recommend following Tattoo Moms on Instagram too because they have pop-up shops and flea markets and vegan bake sales all the time. So definitely plan a trip to Philly around their Instagram feed and you will definitely won't be disappointed. 10 out of 10, Tattoo Moms. So if you like this video and you want to follow along, you can check out the playlist right here to see previous episodes. And if you want to stay on my channel, you can subscribe by clicking the button right here.